I, d I don't like to say one particular intervention we're recommending is more important than the others, but this is right up there. Yeah. I, I like to call it Google for doctors. You know, we, we, we live in a world where, where our mobile phones dominate everything we do, and, and yet here, our, our doctors, our clinicians, they make a really educated guess whether we need an antibiotic or not. And in, in a lot of the case, we put them under this staggering pressure as humans because we want our sweet. Um, so why don't we do something about it? And one way of doing it, and a particularly aggressive recommendation we're suggesting, is to make it mandatory in the developed world as soon as 2020. No diagnostic, no antibiotic. And everybody's like, well, whoa, whoa, how, how can we do that? We, we don't have the technology, it's not cheap enough. And like, of course that's the case, but if you want to really stimulate the market and get venture capital wanting to take this seriously, and there's plenty of people in the technology space that are intrigued by it, if they see evidence that policymakers are adopting that kind of approach, the VC world solves that problem for you. We are also suggesting that for the right diagnostics in the emerging world, they should be a beneficiary of uh, our market entry reward or some other close version of it, but perhaps even uh, a cousin of the advanced market commitment. Oh, so, um, oh, the, the, so a prize to develop not just the actual drugs, I but think, a prize I think to develop the diagnostics. Just as important for the emerging world, where, where, where there are such enormous challenges, to take the whole TB issue of our, of our 10 million deaths, Nearly one third of them are going to be because of TB. Mm. So, and, and uh, within the infectious disease world, the, 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 the rapid, scary growth of drug-resistant TB is horrific. So, having state-of-the-art diagnostics to deal with that, hugely important thing. So, why should they not be a beneficiary of, 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 of some kind of market entry reward type mechanism too? And then, who pays for the production and rollout of these diagnostic tools? machines or whatever they are, software in large enough numbers for the developing world, is that something you want the G20 to underwrite? This, this, this is something that I think the G20 have to make some decision on and I think they have to make a significant commitment. Uh, but linked to something you, you touched on earlier, I think multinational financial institutions uh, could play a role here. One thinks of the World Bank uh -huh. uh, and others. Um, and, and indeed, if you think about it in the, in the sustainable development goals uh, and its broadest sense, and you bring in now uh, clean water and sanitation, uh, many aspects of the antimicrobial resistance challenge for the emerging world should be seen in that context. So uh, some kind of financial insist, uh, support, uh, some kind of grants, some kind of incentives, some kind of uh, prizes. Why, why would you not consider that as a very sensible investment?